today we're going to tell you a story <laughs> of about how, how we met. First yeah. Met. yeah. As you can see from my button, I met my husband at Stanford. Uh-huh. And I met my wife at Stanford. Funny how, what a coincidence that was. 11 years ago today. Well, actually, let's start with 14 years ago. Uh, 14 years ago At the reunion today. tailgates, yeah. That's we right. met. That's right. And got married three years later, reunion right. weekend. Reunion that weekend. Good. Can't resist asking, you met here? We I did. Met, I met her at homecoming decorations in her freshman year. So that but I dated just about everybody in his eating club to try to find him again. Oh, that's terrific. <laughs> Finally happened. <laughs> we were both taking social dance yeah, one. ballroom. Ballroom dance. And, and then she said hello. And I said, oh, you're my roommate's lab partner. Yeah, that oh. was actually pretty sketchy. No. And he likes to deny it. No, I actually, say... I usually not do my part. My part, my roommate was saying, "Oh, she's like a really good lab partner, like, like very diligent." And then he and looked me up. I didn't I knew look her up. Was. No, we did not look her up. <laughs> we were married, and my wife was pregnant. And but at the time, the student housing, the married student housing, didn't have enough space, so she was working 36 out of 48 hours. I was at the law school and business school, and we had an infant son. So it was busy life. Busy life, rather challenging. He changed more diapers than I did. <laughs> I confess. I remember the one time I was very happy I was actually working in on duty was when I called him home and our eight months old son had the worst case of gastroenteritis. In uh, lay language it meant he was leaking from all orifices, clean up the bed sheets and hang them out to dry, put them in a bathtub and okay, then run back and remake the bed and, <laughs> Thank you, and then he started all over again. They're getting off. They don't want to hear girls didn't even get a chance to speak. <laughs> Thank you.